Mark chapter 4, verse 41. And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Who is this? Can you imagine? The disciples are now saying, Who is this? Who is this man that we have in our midst? We thought we knew him. We call him teacher. We've been with him. But clearly, he is more than we thought. Who is this? Have you ever had that experience with the Lord? Where you thought you knew him. Yeah, I know God for myself. And then he reveals himself in a way that causes you to say, did I really know him? Is this really God? Who is this God that I'm serving? You see, the storm peeled back another layer of revelation of God. You know, like you peel away layers of onions. So it is that the storm caused Jesus to show another dimension of himself that these disciples had never been privy to. They knew him as teacher. And they knew what to expect from a teacher. Now, even if they had recognized that he was a greater teacher than the other teachers that they had known, even if they had recognized that he was no ordinary rabbi, nothing prepared them for what they just saw. See him standing up, taking authority, rebuking the wind and Come in the sea, and they obey instantaneously. That's not teacher. That's master. That's Lord. He is more than we thought he was. Who is this? What revelation? is your storm bringing to your life? What dimension of God will be revealed from his presence and operation in your storm? Well, I guess the storm was a blessing because the storm brought them closer to their Lord gave them revelation of who he is. Remember, the Bible says that he is past finding out. There is more to him to know, more to him to learn, more of him to find out. And it may be your storm that will bring you the next phase of revelation. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings at 10 Union Square, Crossroads. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via Facebook Live.